Good afternoon. We're going to talk about this question. Understanding how the map bug is causing Crohn's disease. And to do that, we have to go right back to the beginning and understand MAP itself. MAP stands for Mycobacterium avium subspecies paratuberculosis. That's what it's called now. When it was first discovered in Dresden in Germany in 1895, it was called the Yonis bacillus, and in between it's been called M. paratuberculosis. Here is where it was discovered in Europe in 1895 in Dresden. And in the years that followed, reports occurred from all over Europe saying we have identified the Yonis bacillus in our cows too. In the uh, uh, middle part of the 20th century, the 1930s, 40s and 50s, clinical disease in our animals was widespread. And then clinical disease appeared to decline. And what we have now, exemplified by this study from Germany, is the substantial prevalence of subclinical MAP infection in our domestic livestock. Yes. In the United States and Canada, it's the same story, virtually with Crohn's, the Yonis disease first described in 1908. So now, MAP infection in our domestic livestock in North America is very high. So, Yonis disease and MAP began in Europe and then of course the North American continent and became prevalent also in the countries with which Europe and North America traded. Mm -hmm. And this of course included South Africa, Australia and New Zealand. When the Iron Curtain fell, yeah. uh, the cattle movements increased enormously yeah. so that the organism is now spreading east in Europe. Okay. Yeah. China has imported huge numbers of cattle from other countries, especially Canada. Ireland yeah. impo imported 70,000 cattle from Denmark, Holland, and France. And so Yonis disease is beginning to appear in other countries, which now includes uh, the Middle East, Iran, India, uh, Japan, Korea, and a little bit in Malaysia. This is what MAP looks like, cultured from the feces of an infected cow. This culture has taken six months. Under the microscope, we see clumps, groups of organisms, and they're all staining dark red, typical of mycobacteria. Here are three cows in a field in Scotland. They are all of the same breed, but the middle one has Yoni's disease. Yeah. When we look at the microscopic picture of the inflamed intestine, we see cells here, and here, and here, all over, which are stuffed with red staining map bugs. This sheep also has map, and when we look at its intestine, we can't see any map bugs at all. What we see is the, the cells of the immune system, here, here, and here, indicating a, a virulent immunological reaction. MAP disease in animals ranges between one in which we see millions of organisms yeah. called pluribacillary disease, and this shows what's called the palsy microbial disease. You can't see any org map organisms at all. The map bugs are there, but you cannot see them. And this picture, ranging from millions of bugs visible to no bugs visible at all, yeah. is just what happens in the human disease of leprosy. And this compares the microscopical picture of porcimicrobial mm -hmm. map in 
infection in a diseased sheep with Crohn's disease in humans, and they are virtually indistinguishable. MAP, its principal reservoir of infection, is in wild, uh, domestic and, to a lesser extent, wild ruminants. Yeah. But many other species, including primates, yeah. can get infection and disease due to MAP. So MAP is a true, what microbiologists call, multi-host pathogen. When we think of MAP, of course, it's not a single organism. It is diversified into strains that affect cattle and strains that affect sheep. And we have evidence that there are strains which affect humans. Yeah. This is a diagram of the DNA sequence mm -hmm. of the entire map bug genome yeah. obtained from the Genomic Center at the University of Minnesota. And what we see is this green circle here is the DNA. And this purple circle here is the proteins that it makes. There are 4,350 of them. The green pieces of DNA here and all the way around are identical to the DNA in garden variety cousins of map. The ability to cause disease in so many animals, including primates, resides in these little white bits of DNA that we can see around the map genome. And this is very important because it is from these areas that we select the pieces of map to make modern vaccines. In 1985, we made an important discovery. We had got from Dr. Rod Chiodini in the United States some uh, material from cultures of three people with Crohn's disease. The cultures had been incubated for about two to three years. And in this DNA, we discovered a small fragment which enabled us to fingerprint the three samples of DNA from these three Crohn's disease patients. Mm -hmm. This piece of DNA was called IS-900. From these three fingerprints, we see that the organism which has taken at least two years to grow from these Crohn's disease patients has got a complex fingerprint pattern. We fingerprinted many other organisms look, looking for an identical fingerprint. And the organism that we found one day had a perfect match was paratuberculosis or MAP. A MAP can be very difficult to detect. Um, it grows very poorly in culture. It's very difficult to see down the microscope and it hides from the immune system. The test we developed was a PCR test, as it's called, which revealed the presence of MAP, not by culture, not by microscopy, and not by doing a blood test, but by revealing the presence of its specific DNA. And this is what a positive MAP test looks like.